there are a lot of crates, uh, shipping pallets. We import a lot of things to Sri Lanka, but these crates are all abandoned or used for firewood or things like that. So what we did, we uh, purchased those in Colombo and brought it here and with Ajit's technique, so-called modular system. So they uh, replaced the, got it, taken the wood out from the pallets, uh, dismantled the pallets and started doing uh, this uh, wooden chalets. Earlier we had the tents, we removed the tents because tents are a little bit, uh, not that uh, little bit noisy in the rooms and we get disturbed by a little bit of uh, the noises here and there. So we want to make it uh, more eco-friendly to show the people these abandoned materials have a lot of value. Technique uh, responsible man is Ajit. Uh, he had trained the villagers around here and they are, they, Ajit is, I leave it to you, it's there, they, they learn very quickly, some people love. In day-to-day -day architecture, right, end of the day nothing will go to the people, right, they just assemble building or whatever they want with the available material in the market, right, nothing, end of the day nothing goes to the people. Now that here, that is the most important, this is truly a technical transfer pro project. Right. I think the old credit goes to Chandra because he took the risk. Play, this is not called playing with nature, mm. uh, nature, but playing with the nature is a bigger risk. Yes. Putting concrete jungle is a bigger mm. risk. We don't want to go with yeah. this. A lot of investors come and go, you know, uh, what you call high rise building with concrete, uh, uh, glass, and uh, iron, all those things. Actually, we these are very environmental friendly. Nothing will go to the, the, the harm to the environment. So that's the reason we got this and, and also the low cost, low cost effect yes. also because ROI on a thing like this is uh, but the problem is we have to put a lot of uh, labor, a lot mm. of thinking on it too. that's more value than uh, putting importing somebody, something and putting it but uh, all, all in all this region, you know, this is actually this is a secondary forest as you see uh, we have protected it. We don't want to bring any concrete or any type of uh, modern buildings here. Yeah, I think this is the ultimate eco-friendly project. This is the ultimate, this is the only project you can see all over the country uh, like this uh, phase, right? So I think uh, this is like a pilot project. This is first uh, project in this nature, right? We never cut even one tree to build this building. We use old shipping pallet, the abandoned material, you can see everywhere outside. People never use, before this, in hotel industry, they never use for building chalets like this. And even the furniture. Even the furniture. All the furniture inside is being done with uh, pallets, like tables, chairs, beds, all those things. So. And, and other thing is, we, the, we finished 18 chalets within 33 days. And also the size of the chalet is about 98 square meters. Yes. Right. So we had the deck, but other, all other, even the roofs, everything is done by this. The roofing materials are kajan. Mm -hmm. and this is also done by the village women here. Mm -hmm. So we buy it from there. And every year it's a hassle, but every year you have to change it. But still, it's still worth the travel. So I think the tourists who are coming here, or the local visitors, or Foreign tourists, uh, they love these type of projects because Sri Lanka is, uh, we have to protect the biodiversity of Sri Lanka. Yes, the biodiversity is, the education is biodiversity is, uh, uh, what you call, it's uh, disappearing little by little. So it's our, our, it's our natural heritage. We have to protect it. To protect it, and we have, you know, this area, we have a lot of elephants. Human elephant conflict and all those areas in you know, our area, and also we should understand uh, our bird life here. We have about 165 varieties of birds in this area. So all those things, you know, when you have buildings like that, these are very bird-friendly, human-friendly buildings. So,